Hey yo, same day, different tie. But I've just been to a funeral to attend for Bob, who we've been looking after. And Bob grew up at Hillsborough. Bob had a perfect childhood. Probably one of the best childhoods a kid could wish for. Because his mum and dad owned a pub up Hillsborough as he grew up. 1945, he were born. And uh, he loved it. He absolutely loved life. Start, I'm just looking at traffic. I can't turn that way. My head's bloody next killing. Uh, I. Oh, so I grew up in Hillsborough. Uh, and then moved over to uh, Meadowhead Way. But at a really young age, growing up in a pub, he got the taste for fags and beer and having a flutter and bet on horses. Uh, a taste that never left him, I think, throughout his life from being a child. Uh, and it's not a bad taste to have, is it? A fag and a pint. So, died age 75, he didn't feel well at Christmas. This lady cross the wood. Uh, died at 75 years of age. He didn't, it, it'd been in good health all his life, but at Christmas he just didn't feel well. He knew something were up. Uh, sadly, passed away. Uh, and his friend, lovely bloke, has arranged all the service for him. He sorted it all out. That's what friends are for, isn't it? You know what I mean? Well, no, it's not what friends are for. It's usually what family's for, but Bob, I don't know about, what about his family. So, uh, anyway, that's that. Why have I put this back on? Well, I've put it on because coming back this morning, I didn't mention it, but on 27th of February, Sheffield City Council is going to introduce the clean air zone around the perimeter of the town. I mean, it, it's not too bad, really, because they've ruined our city to start with. Everything's shut down. It's just... God almighty, anybody from Sheffield will know what I'm saying. It's an absolute nightmare, Sheffield. Uh, and it really, really is. Talk about wasting money. They've just had some containers put up. Never even used them as shops, these shipping containers. Didn't even get to use them and then took them away. Bad idea. Well, hang on, you should have been made to pay for that. They should make councillors personally responsible for their actions and they'll be a bit more careful somebody's put on my other post I've noticed I haven't managed to reply to anybody yet that Michael Fogg for MP well I can't be an MP first of all I like to work and that it's not work secondly I'm not bent I mean if you look at some of the councillors they've been fixing the bloody uh, what do you call them, expenses and all sorts. I don't want to be an MP, but I just want to say it as I feel. And what I feel is, this con back to congestion, not congestion charge, clean air charge. As though they are not crippled the city enough. Now they're going to start charging £10 a day to vans and taxis. 50 quid a day to lorries and buses. Well, who's going to pay for that? Who, in actual fact, is going to pay for it? Well, I'll tell you. The people of Sheffield's going to pay for it. Whether you're going to town centre or not, because bus fares is going to go up. Stuff what them lorries and vans deliver to, they're not... Oh. Oh, he recalled you on in YouTube, didn't it? Uh, they're not going to pay for it, them companies. Of course they're not. They're going to put it on to what they're delivering or taking or bringing or whatever. We have to go through town centre. When we're going to medical legal centre, we have to drive through town centre. Sometimes when we're on service, we have to go through town centre. 
Now, that means that families who are grieving have got to then pay that extra charge. It's obvious. It just, it's absolutely scandalous. You can get an exemption form, which we've got until June, but after June you pay it and that's it. It's absolutely ridiculous. So, if you pay £10, I want to ask Sheffield Council this. If I want to pay for driving my ambulance, which is a Ford Connect Transit, through Sheffield City Centre, and I pay £10, does that mean that it's not affecting the clean air zone of Sheffield? Because I've paid your £10 to do it. Does that mean that a bus that's travelling through Sheffield City Centre ain't chucking no diesel fumes out because they've paid council 10 quid? <laughs> uh, 50 quid? No, it doesn't, does it? It's obvious. It's just another stealth tax that this Labour Party have brought in. It's like we go down M1, I was shooting up M1 yesterday, you get to Sheffield, it's 70 up M1, and you get Sheffield 60 for clean air. Just where Meadow Hall is. It was causing more blocks and tailbikes, which were chucking more pollution out, than no, all. It's crazy. Just let it flow through. They'll never stop traffic. They can't say, oh, well, we're going to charge you then. We already pay insurance, for vehicle, maintenance, tax test, petrol, diesel. Motorists pay for everything. And now this is another back door way of saying we'll get more money off them. They ain't got a choice. We'll put these cameras up. That's not a bad idea. Well, it is a bad idea. It is. Because... We pay for that. The people of Sheffield will be paying for it all, and it's wrong. What they should do, Sheffield City Council, and I hope some of you watch this, it should be you that's made personal, respon personally responsible for your actions in wasting money, like putting bloody cyclist lanes in and then taking them up and Absolutely. Sheffield City, we're still paying for World Student Games in 1990s. This is going to make this city great. I can remember it, I'm doing it, converting all these flats to bring student games in. Who nobody's ever bloody heard of. And we're still paying for it. Somebody said to me we'll be paying for it for another 35 years, that. The people of Sheffield didn't really want it, but the council, in their ultimate ego, thought, we'll go for this. They didn't need to put bids in, nobody else wanted it. Crackers, absolutely mental. So, Sheffield Council, if any of you is watching this, you can contact me. I'd love to make contact with a councillor who can explain to me the sense behind what you're doing at the moment with the bloody clean air zone when a loved one passes away you pay 83 pound for a doctor uh, to sign the paperwork you don't for a burial but you do for a cremation now does that mean that they are not only paying 83 pound if they died in a hospital like Alamshire, which is in that zone. So they've got to pay eight, uh, 60, it's not 80, it's, it's bloody hell, I think it's, I think it's 83 quid. Yeah, I'm sure, 60 or 83 quid. I don't deal with none of that scene. I have people who deal with it for me. Uh, but whatever we pay to doctors, that goes on to family's bill. So this £10 for bringing some, someone into care from Alamshire Hospital, that's going to cost 10 quid. That family's got to pay that. I think it's 68 quid, I'm sure it's £68. 
So it's 78 quid then if it's 10 pounds going to city to bring that person. It's wrong, it's absolutely disgusting. And I'm not saying undertakers should be able to go through city centre for now. I think everybody should. Anyway, I'm nearly back, so I'm going. I've had enough ranting and raving. Have a nice day. I'll catch you all.